our system of transportation is the greatest of any country in the world. America is a nation on the go, and our highway system is our lifeblood. Through a century of public investment, we have built a national network of highways and bridges that connect us to each other and our vast nation. It moves food from the farm to our table and brings the products we enjoy to our doorstep. It provides access to jobs, schools, and medical care. Our highway network is an engine of economic growth and opportunity. Today, the Federal Highway Administration works with state and local governments and other stakeholders to build, maintain, and improve U.S. roads. But that wasn't always the case. In the early years, many traveled by wagon on roads that were barely passable. I remember my granddaddy would go to town and he would uh, take him two days to go. And he would go and buy the groceries, load up and go back part the way and camp before he'd go on home. It'd take him two days to get the month's supply. President Woodrow Wilson signed the Federal Aid Road Act of 1916, and the nation started rolling toward better roads. I take great pleasure in signing this bill because it tends to thread various parts of the country together. Well, the Federal Aid Road Act of 1916 established the partnership between the federal government and states in providing for transportation services in this country. Certainly many of the routes that were initially constructed ultimately became those same roads that are a part of what we now call the National Highway System. For the first time, roads became a national priority as a way to connect people and facilitate the movement of goods. National network of two-lane paved highways was built, and the jobs that were created helped pull America out of the Great Depression. Americans suffering from financial hardships were able to work and earn an income. One of those highways was Route 66, which was completed in 1937. Because it went from Chicago to Los Angeles, it intersected all of the major transcontinental highways. Uh, many other important roads also cut into Route 66, so it became an important road for the transport of agricultural and industrial products. President Dwight D. Eisenhower understood the importance of a national interstate highway system. A modern highway system is essential to meet the needs of our growing population our expanding economy, and our national security. He signed the Federal Aid Highway Act of 1956, which resulted in a system that connected the nation and border points through a network of highways, bridges, and tunnels. It linked major metropolitan areas, industrial centers, and other modes of transportation, and was designed and built to a uniform set of standards. But transportation became more than just moving people and goods from point A to point B. In the 1960s, concerns for cleaner air and preserving natural landscapes led to a comprehensive process for planning transportation projects with regard to the surrounding environments. Public engagement became part of project planning to help identify local and regional transportation needs. The St. Louis Arch was built in 1965, but was immediately cut off from the rest of the city by Interstate 44. The City Arch River Project is reconnecting the arch and the community. Public engagement and public-private partnerships were key aspects of the planning process. You had a group of people coming together that had very different cultures, um, historically had different goals, coming together to really accomplish common goals. It will be 
an entirely different experience for the better in terms of getting to work, getting around the arch grounds. It doesn't matter where you're from, what your background is, everybody can gather in these spaces and feel welcome and feel excited and feel part of their community. While local projects help local economies, the interstate highway system facilitated the development of a complex freight network in recent years that serves the United States and the world. 54 million tons of freight move across our nation every day as the highway system connects the country from north to south, east to west. Much of that freight comes through multimodal transportation centers. The port has a tremendous impact on our local economy, and the highway system provides us with much needed connectivity, enabling our customers to deliver their products and goods to the storefronts, and enabling our other customers to deliver their raw products and their components to manufacturers. We take for granted the products we want and need are available at local stores. Uh, we're on the road quite a bit. It's all about getting right to the, the source. It's uh, get my clams, my oysters, my fish, and my lobsters all within about 20 square miles. Yeah, when I started this business, I was trying to think of how to, I could make it work, but definitely the, the highway system is key. But what would happen if our current transportation system stopped functioning? Within days, or even hours, assembly lines come to a stop. Hospitals run out of essential supplies. Fuel becomes scarce, and grocery stores run out of perishables. Our highway system is crucial to our economy. As a nation, we're becoming more populated and more urbanized. Our systems are becoming more complex and are handling more traffic each day. It is vital to our economy and the world economy that we keep the nation moving safely and efficiently. A comprehensive systems approach to investing in transportation will ensure that our kids and grandkids receive the benefits of our investment. From the earliest days of dusty dirt trails and muddy paths to the superhighways of today, transportation touches everyone's life. Where will tomorrow's roads take you?